Albert in Birmingham, Alabama. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo Mo Better because I might be seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better. And I'm going to show you how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Essilor Ideal Advanced Invisible Digital Freeform Progressive Lens. That's a lot to say. With Transitions Extra Active and the Silver Flash Mirror for your Oakley 3232 base plane. Size 54, color 01, the mat or the satin black, they call it. Take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. Your Oakley hard shell case. Of course, all Oakleys come with a little cleaning cloth carrying bag. It does both. Inside of that is your Oakley. Of course, it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. But this is the, hang on, I'm going to find it here somewhere. Somewhere I got a little flashlight. There it is. Again, this is the 3232 color 01, the satin black, and the 54 eye size. And this is the base plane. So let me begin. I'm going to pop out your original demo lenses. Put those in the case. So I know where that when I ship them to you. Put the frame into the tracing element. By the way, great styling on this frame. Classic, classic minimalist looking very professional formal if you're looking for a, a traditional conservative frame nothing too flashy this is a good one i'm gonna put it into the tracing element of my blocker program this shape into the computer you were secret agent 1605 i'm gonna hit start a little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy genuine, authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. Now again, this is something new. Hopefully it'll be at the bottom of the screen during the video, but I am an authorized Oakley dealer, but as a small independent optician, I've been told I'm not allowed to individually list all the frames with prices on my website. So he reached out to me, just emailed me. He told me what he wanted, the size, the color, and I said, I will make it happen for you. So let's move on to the next screen. The pupillary distance is 33.5. The computer starts at 32.5. So I'm going to tap the plus button twice because it goes up in half millimeter increments. I only need to go up one millimeter to do the invisible bifocal at 18. We're going to change the layout screen to a progressive. Hey, come on magnet. There you go magnet. Now I've already got all invisible bifocals come with two laser engravings 34 millimeters apart. One has the strength of the bifocal. The other one underneath it has the brand. When I use the layout chart, it tells me where everything is to be. I'm going to place that on there. I need two blocks, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. But I need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got two right here. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. I'm going to line up the magnet. Well, actually, hang on one second. I'll get to that magnet. The black side is the sticky side. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now on the back is a silver button that is a magnet. Now I will line it up with the magnet there in the arm. Get everything laid out. Now this blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and inset. And we're going to get everything laid out just perfectly. Hit that button. The arm is going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Pupillary distance for the left eye is 34, so I'm going to go up one half of a millimeter to 34. Same optical center height for the invisible bifocal. And get everything laid out just perfectly. Hit this button. Now the arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what costs $40,000. It's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter, put these posters all over your kitchen wall, and then you can cut your own lenses at home, and you will need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond-crusted wheel. That's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material from this size down to this size. Now this wheel in the center, that channel, that little valley, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake up the computer. 
your secret agent 1605 these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex i would select that but we're going to stick with polycarbonate i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens i am going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens and that concludes your vocabulary lesson of the day ding you may now turn the page so i'm going to press that on there firmly the magnet is going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Look, I'm going to keep saying that joke until you laugh at it, so you might as well start laughing. Hit the green arrow to start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, or at least they were formerly known as white styluses. They're getting a little dingier, but it's going around tracing the shape of the right side of the frame. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Of course, with this prescription in this frame, it will be minimal. Plastic frames do a much better job of hiding edge thickness. Metal frames are a little bit skinnier, but you don't have a very strong description to begin with. Now, the light you see flickering in the back is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Also known as Schwarf, polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex lenses cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, polycarbonate lenses cut dry, but water will spray onto the lens for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But your lenses, again, made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and flying debris in their Oakleys. It's also the same lens material that OSHA requires for safety glasses for anyone who works in a hazardous condition. Now these are not safety glasses, but it's the same lens material. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Well, your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Birmingham, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now, you got the Transitions Extra Active, which I'll demonstrate later, but you also got the Silver Flash Mirror. All the six colors, silver, gold, green, blue, red, and pink, come with a back surface anti-glare coating. So you're not compromising anything from that. These lenses have everything included in them, including the nice thing about Transitions Extra Active is they block about 50 to 70% of the harmful blue light that you hear about these days emitted from today's electronics and computers, handheld devices, all the above. Transitions were the first blue blocking lens. Not everyone gets transition, so now they started to putting, embedding it into the lens or in the uh, anti-glare coatings that are available. The transitions was the first. Now the Signature 7 block about 30 to 40 percent. The transitions extra active block 50 to 70 percent. So water is spraying onto the lens, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds. Now out comes a, a lever, at the end of that lever is a spinning disc, that's what's going to apply the safety bevel to the back surface of the lens. It's just going to smooth out any rough edges left over from the cutting cycle. So in just a moment I'll open this door with my mind. You like that? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then it'll melt. <laughs> Again, I'm going to keep saying these until you guys laugh, so you better start laughing or you're going to keep hearing them. So, I'm going to run my thumbnail around the edge of the lens just to get off all the rest of the optical sawdust. And I'll be nice to my wife. She complains when I drop it on the floor, even though she doesn't do the cleaning, but she says it's a bad reflection on me. And I said, I don't get reflections. I have an anti-glare coating. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that I'm entertained. So, we're going to do a little bit of Lefty Lucy. And I better not drop that screw. I'm going to hold it upside down. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Oh, I'm going to have to do more. Let's see, let's see. 
I'm gonna have to do more. I should have gotten a tray. A real optician would get a tray so that you don't drop these screws. Good thing I'm not a real optician. <laughs> At least not not before uh, not before noon. I wake up then and start acting professional. Let's do a little bit of righty tidy. That is clamped in there perfectly. We can go ahead, flip that over, start cutting the left lens, put the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I will call it the Albert. The clamp shuts, and then just like before, the lens will be traced by the two formerly white styluses. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left side of the frame this time. And measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel for the best cosmetic look possible. Look at that. Look at that. You got no edge thickness. Part of the reason is I matched the curvature of the frame when I ordered these lenses. I got these ground as thin as possible. That's what you get with a licensed optician. I must have ordered these after noon. After I'd woken up. Take that off, dry that off, apply that to my little sticker collection. We're going to come down here to my lensometer, put it in above that black dot. Well, we've got to turn it on since it's the first one of the day. Put it in over that black dot. I'm getting... Put the axis wheel on 40. Read the power and I am getting... What am I getting? I'm getting lost. I'm getting minus 75. That's because the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter. It starts at zero and goes up or down in quarter increments. So this is actually going down 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75. So you need three steps of far-sighted correction. With your glasses off, you are nearsighted. So you need three steps of far-sighted correction. Now, once everything is the images are the correct size, you have three steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. So once it's the correct size, we have to take away those fuzzy edges. Think of it as the fine two knob, and we're going to turn that fine two knob to 40. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that fine two knob to 40 for the right eye. Let's check that seventh curvature, the minus 75, your astigmatism correction. And we're getting minus 150, exactly halfway between 1 and 2. How did we get there? Remember high school algebra, we add two like signs together. Don't worry, I've forgotten high school algebra too. I've forgotten college algebra, and I've forgotten any algebra in between. But let's use today's terms. If someone had borrowed 75 cents from you, and then they borrowed another 75 cents, they would owe you $1.50. $1.50 in the red, exactly halfway between 1 and 2. Now your left eye, you only need two steps of far-sighted correction, same amount of astigmatism correction, but the axis is at 135. What's unique about this, you're 40 degrees, this is the 180, a straight line is 180. You're 40 degrees away from the, from the 180 line on this side, you're 45 degrees away from the 180 line on this side. So you're only literally, even though 40 and 135 look very different, they're only five degrees apart. You have oblique meridians. If you can imagine 90 in the center, 180 at the edges, you're at the oblique meridians. So that's pretty cool. Now, the bifocal strength is two and a quarter, which it's called the add because it means in addition to what's on top. So if you were to actually buy over-the-counter reading glasses, you would subtract 0.75 for the right eye from 225. And that would give you like about a plus 150, a plus 175 for the left eye. But you can actually read pretty well with your glasses off, but it gets annoying to take your glasses on and off, and that's why eventually people who are farsighted do eventually go with a type of bifocal so they don't have to take their glasses on and off because they will set them down, they'll walk into another room, realize they left their glasses in the office or a study or in the living room, they're in the kitchen, they need to read something. It just gets annoying hunting for your glasses. And finally they say, oh, just give me something I wear all the time. It's nice to be able to see all the time. It really is. So, we're going to tuck that in. Make sure we don't drop the screw. Do a little righty-tighty. Make sure that is shut firmly. Take this block off. Pull the sticker away. Use my hand-approved drying method. Throw that in for the next one. Add that to my sticker collection. Come down here. We're going to put it in over the black dot. We're going to turn that fine two knob to 135 exactly halfway between 130 and 140 put it in all right lamp get out of the way put it in over 
that, we're going to turn the fine two knob and we get minus 50, exactly halfway between zero and one. Minus 50. You have three steps of astigmatism correction. If all goes well, we'll end up at minus one and a quarter. Look at that. One and a quarter. One tick mark going away from one towards two. I tell you, this guy with the bad jokes is pretty good. I don't know where he learned to cut glasses at. Now, your pupillary distance, 33.5, 34 for the right, excuse me, for the left, the left. For a total of 67.5, I'm going to turn the card around. Place This is called inspecting. I'm going to inspect, make sure the PD is right. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 67.5. Man, this guy's good after all. Check the optical center height. We're getting 18. 18 for the vertical decentration, the seg height, it goes by many names. Now this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mention that this purchase is tax free and includes free shipping anywhere in the US. The reason why I point out now that it's tax free, a lot of stuff on the internet was, but no longer. Now, I am in North Carolina. The state of North Carolina considers glasses a medical device. Imagine that. All medical devices in North Carolina are tax exempt. So when you buy glasses from me, if you were to buy these same glasses made by someone on the internet in Virginia, you would have to pay 8% sales tax. Now this frame alone, the Oakley 3232 base plane sells for 193. The Essilor Ideal Advanced Digital Freeform Progressive Lens adds 149.99. The Transitions Extra Active adds 99.99. And the Silver Flash Mirror or any silver Mirror adds $69.98 for a total of $512.97. If you were to buy glasses from any other state, 512.97 in North Carolina, the sales tax is 8% times 8%, you'd pay another $41.03 in tax. I just saved you even more money there. So, I send out a selfie request in every package. I would love to have your selfie on the website, Albert. You don't have to, but I do ask. But I do include a cleaning uh, instructions not only how to care for your frame and lenses, but for your cleaning cloth, the premium microfiber one that I provide, your Oakley one, and to care for your Oakley case. So it too will last you for years. But let me get these in standard alignment first. Oh, but what I was going to say, when you get these in the mail, and of course free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm no different. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments regardless of where you purchase them from. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. And of course, normally these are pilot temples. I'm wearing the Oakley 8132 in color 02, the universe blue, blue and orange. I'm all about me some blue. And I likes my orange. <laughs> so let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. But these are called pilot temples. I just took mine back off. Because if you imagine a World War II fighter pilot with a helmet on, you could slide these glasses on and off without having to take your helmet on and off. If you had traditional spatula type of temples, they would almost have to take the helmet off to get those on. But I'm going to flip these over, press down. Because of these, I don't know why, honestly, as a, being an optician for 21 years, I don't know why these pilot temples are almost self-correcting. Very rarely when you put these on. It's the only pair of glasses I've been amazed by that since I've been an Oakley dealer. And they have so many of these. But you slide these on and even if, again, 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other, they just simply go on level. I don't know why that is. I'm sure there's another optician that will criticize me and be a hater and tell me it ain't true, but I can only go from my own experiences. I cannot speak on behalf of theirs. So I'm going to press down on the counter, make sure there's no wobble, close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each spring hinge. That's good. If one was tighter or looser, I would correct for that. But, so here's a good teaching moment. These are the transitions. Let's see, that's where the original lens is. I have the Transition Signature 7. These are the Transitions Extra Active, and this is the original demo lens. Now, the original demo lenses blocks about 1-2% to 2 of hue, while indoors it's not completely clear. Mine have about 3-5%. to 5 The Transitions Extra Active have about 5-7% to 7 hue indoors over a white piece of paper. When you put these on, no one will really see that because of the pigment in your skin. But this is what they... 
hang on I've got dust on the counter here um, but this is what they look like before they have been activated for the first time that silver flash mirror has it looks like about a silver anti-glare coating on the front of the lens it's a little bit more pronounced than my sapphire that has that the reflex the color that you see shining back is called the reflex all of the coatings have those some of them are different colors but i'm going to go ahead and activate them meaning i'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light now as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for a transition lenses to get dark it takes a little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. now this is important albert and everyone else listening pay attention all transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first two weeks are exposed to the sun the only time the transition signature 7 lenses won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day and that's why transition 7 don't turn dark in a car now the extra active that albert is getting will get 30 to 50 percent dark behind a windshield Transitions are also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Having said that, these transitions extra active will get darker in hotter weather because they're designed for extra active people who spend normal extra amounts of time outside. So this is the silver mirror, not only... Now, when you look through them, they're going to be transitions gray. When people look at you, they're going to see that silver mirror coating on there, which is a really cool feature. This lens, this type of lens has only been available for about six to eight months. Um, again, it's available in six colors, silver, gold, green, blue, red, and pink. I've done the first five. I've not done pink yet. I may have to order it just for myself, just to see what it looks like. So someone else save me. Any person out there who loves pink, order a pair with the pink mirror so I can see what they look like or else I'm going to have to do it. So it's going to continue to lighten as I run my mouth, which is what I'm best at. Actually, I'm not best at anything, but if it is, it's running my mouth. So if you've liked what you've seen and you want to see more of these, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. Dot com. If you have any questions, you can email me if there's a certain Oakley frame that hopefully the print has been at the bottom of this video the whole time. This is the first video that I've done that. My wife is teaching me how to edit. Um, it teaches me how to correct a lot of things. Remember, if, if at first you don't succeed, try doing it the way your wife told you to. <laughs> so, but again, you can email me directly at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. So, Albert in Birmingham, Alabama, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 3232 color 01 satin black in the 54 eye size. And everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.